Well, the red carpet has officially been rolled out at the Fashion Valley Mall as it prepares for one of the biggest events of the year. 23rd annual Latino Film Festival starts today. CW6's Carlos Correa live in studio as thousands are expected to attend. Carlos. Yeah, about 20,000 people to be exact, from comedies and dramas, family movies to horror films. There is something for everyone and it's taking place at two different locations. Volunteers are putting the finishing touches on the 23rd annual Latino Film Festival, where more than 165 movies will be screened over the next 11 days. We want to celebrate the diversity of the Latino community. This is my will. The event brings filmmakers from around the world to the Fashion Valley Mall. It's an opportunity to celebrate Latino cinema, culture, and food. We're supporting emerging filmmakers. We're providing more of an accurate representation of Latinos in front of the screen. So it's really an important event, but it's also very fun. My problem is I don't want to get a Speedo. Why not, man? Speedos are great. Have you ever no. been in one? Well, then what do you have to lose? Bastards and Diablos is a film set in Colombia. It's about two half-brothers who meet after the death of their father to fulfill his dying wish. Andrew Perez not only starred in the film, but also wrote it. Colombia itself is such a, a beautiful country and just like misunderstood because of its dark past, uh, because of the 80s and Escobar and drug trafficking and, and narco-terrorism. And this movie is nothing about that. The idea of the film came from Perez's own family life. Perez lives in the U.S. His half-brother spent most of his life in Colombia. You will make mistakes, but you will learn. Movies at the Latino Film Festival will be screened at the AMC Fashion Valley. Films will also play at the Digital Gym Cinema in North Park. The event offers moviegoers a chance to meet and greet with stars and the people behind the movies. You have access to people like myself and I have access to you. So if you have, uh, if you're a film buff, if you are a Latino, if you uh, have a distant relationship with your father, come to the film, talk to us afterwards. Now proceeds of the event go towards supporting the educational programs at the Media Arts Center San Diego. Tonight's premiere night includes a concert at the Music Box featuring the Grammy-nominated group Los Amigos Invisibles. The festival runs through March 20th. I'm Carlos Correa, CW6 News. Folks are going to be showing up with scripts. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you Carlos.